Welcome back. Today we are talking about Valk, also known as Vulci today. Vulci stands out because its ruins are mostly intact and give us a very concrete idea of what the city used to look like. However, its legacy spreads out further than a bunch of rocks. Let's get into it. Valk was founded in the 9th century BC and started to grow at around the 6th century, thanks to its sources of precious stone and limestone, as well as iron coming from the rich mines of metal in the fertile lands of the Fiora Valley. Thanks to its many resources, Forces, the city was virtually unaffected by the crisis of the 5th century that saw many Etruscan cities falling into ruin, like Tarkna, even though they eventually recovered. As proof of its outstanding wealth, we have their numerous intact tombs that were full of jewelry, pottery and many precious objects. From these same tombs we can also gather that they had very consistent trade relations with Sardinia, as many objects from there were also recovered. Velk also plays a big role in Roman history, in fact, King Torquinius Priscus was overthrown by Valk in 579 BC in collaboration with other Etruscan cities like Cusi and probably Aretium, and placed Servius Tullius in its place as king. He built many public works in the city and is generally considered a good king by historians. While many Etruscan cities struggled to survive, Valk built many new public works such as the city walls and the temple. By the second half of the 4th century BC, Valk began to feel the way of Roman expansion. The struggle to remain independent came to an end in, in 280 BC when it was finally defeated. Valk was forced to relinquish a large part of its territory including access to the coast to Rome. Once it had lost its independence, the city declined and rapidly disappeared completely. Today Valk has many ruins that give a very clear idea of how the city looked like before its fall. There are also many necropolis to see. The most well known of the tombs is is at the necropolis of Ponte Rotto, and it's called the Francois tomb. It is famous for its paintings portraying episodes from Greek mythology together with characters from Etruscan myths and history. Ironically, the paintings are currently in Rome to remind us the sad course of history. That's it for today, see you next Tuesday.